EFA 2016 is here and it's absolutely mental. There's crowds of people, it's boiling hot and there is a ton of stuff to see. Finally managed to escape to a reasonably quiet and cool part of it with these two right here. Arguably the biggest bits of news to come out at EFA this year. The Sony Xperia XZ or Z, but Z, uh, and the Sony Xperia X Compact. Now these are the true flagship phones I reckon that Sony have released. Um, their last two, the X and the XA, they were good, but they were kind of mid ranges And essentially, for all intents and purposes, you could call this the Xperia Z6, um, but don't. So let's start off with the Xperia XZ. So this is a 5.2 inch screen, uh, it's 1080p. And on the other hand, we've got the smaller and much easier to use one-handed, uh, the X Compact. So this is a 4.6 inch screen and 720p. Now obviously 1080p seems small compared to say the 2K screen of a Galaxy S7 or HTC or in fact most flagships these days. Um, but in all honesty, you're not really going to notice that much difference, if any, when you're using it normally. Now the same can be said for, for the X Compact. It's 720p, which does sound really dated these days. But again, because of the screen size, it's absolutely fine. So the 4.6 inch screen on the Compact is really, really good if you either got small hands or are just fed up with dropping your phone by accident, as I do a lot. It's just, I mean, it's just so easy to use one-handed. Now, if we look at the design of these handsets, they're instantly Sony phones. I mean, even if you got rid of the Sony logo on the front, you could tell they were Sony phones. Um, and they're pretty similar to the ones we've seen in the past. They've kind of stuck to their design guns for about five years now, I'd say. There are a few changes though. So if you look in closely here, you can see the rounded glass, which kind of goes off to the sides. Um, and they're both made really well. Now the XZ is actually made out of metal, anodized aluminium, and it just feels really nice. It's a very solidly built phone. Uh, this color is actually probably the better of, of all of the options, I'd say, because the other ones picked up fingerprints massively. Now the X Compact, on the other hand, is made completely out of plastic. Um, obviously that's less premium, uh, but it does feel very well made. I mean, there is no twisting or creaking and it just feels genuinely like a pretty solid device. What I will say, however, is it's a complete fingerprint magnet, at least in this color. I did clean this just before the video started and it's already pretty smudged up. If you look at the bottom of both phones, you've got the USB-C ports there. And unfortunately, unlike last time, only the Xperia XZ is uh, waterproof. So the Compact itself isn't, which is actually a bit of a shame in my opinion. Um, Sony hasn't released prices uh, at the moment, so hopefully the lack of waterproof here will make this quite an affordable model, but it's a bit of a shame that it's not there. Now the camera is something that Sony has really pushed on both of their handsets. Um, on the XZ, we've got a 23 megapixel snapper. Uh, there's also a laser autofocus here, which is something LG has used before. Uh, it opens up in apparently 0.6 seconds with a dedicated button here. From what I've seen so far, it is quite fast at focusing, which is something that you're gonna want when you're trying to catch like a really quick moment. Now, if you're into shooting a lot of video on your smartphone, then the XZ is probably gonna be the one for you. Not only does it shoot 4K, but it's actually got five axis image stabilization. That pretty much means that it reduces a lot of shake in all of these directions. And when I saw a demo side by side, there was a massive difference. Now on the front of the XZ is a 13 megapixel selfie cam basically because why else would you put a 30 megapixel camera on the front of your phone um, it takes a bunch of photos uh, selfie photos and if it's low light it kind of combines them together to reduce noise now the front facing camera on the x compact is only a 5 megapixel one but again it completely gets the job done from what i've tried so far now one thing sony's introduced on both phones which is something that i don't think anyone else has actually done uh, is a feature called battery care so basically the logic behind this, as it was explained to me, was that people have their phones for around two years before they you know, get a new one on contract. Uh, but over that time, with all the charging, the batteries get degraded and they actually hold less charge. Uh, so your phone might not last as long as it did a year after that. So battery care, basically, it charges your phone up to 90% and leaves it at 90%. Uh, and then charges it up when it thinks you're going to use it. So obviously that takes a bit of time. It's software based, so your phone learns uh, when you charge, how often you charge. But it's going to be impossible to know how well it works until you know a couple of years' time, but hopefully it will. So although Sony hasn't messed around with Android too much, it has put a few of its own tricks in there. And one of my favorites that I've seen so far is called Smart Clean. So basically, if there are a lot of apps that you don't use that much, they can have data which can clog your phone up over time. So Smart Clean pretty much clears the cache, gets rid of the data uh, for those apps, and it just keeps things running quite smoothly. Now, this has actually got a Snapdragon 820 processor and three gigabytes of RAM. So, I mean, I don't think it's ever gonna slow down that much anyway. Now, the X Compact has got a Snapdragon 650 processor, which is more mid-range, but again, I don't really see any problems there. Now, both phones are actually launching with Android Marshmallow, which is a bit of a shame, considering that Nougat is literally just around the corner. Now Sony have stated that both devices will get updated with Nougat at some point in future, but when that is, we have no idea. 
So that's a really quick look at Sony's new flagship handsets. Um, the review for the XZ is actually already online, so you can click on through for more info on that. The X Compact should be reviewed over the next few weeks, so check stuff.tv for all the information, and we'll see you there.